Welcome to WebStyle Press. In programming language, an array is a collection of elements or items. You can store data as elements in an array and get them back when you need them as you like them. In this video, I will show you all about arrays and array methods in JavaScript. You will learn about complex data handling and the most commonly used array methods and more. This is an array stored in a variable called elements. This is an array stored in a variable called abcd. This is a variable containing single value 1. If you use multiple values in a variable, use array like this or like this. These are strings as elements and these are numbers. And you can call these like this elements. ABCD. A pair of square brackets represents an array in JavaScript. Elements in the array are separated by comma. Elements in array can be of any type like string, boolean, number, objects and even more arrays. Like this is an array stored in a variable called mixed typed array. It has got number, boolean, string, objects and arrays. This is called nested array. The position of an element in array is called as its index. In JavaScript, the array index starts with 0 and it increases by 1 with each element. We can get element from array by using its index number. For example, 0 elements, 0 will get us 1. First element in array. 2 will get us three. This one, zero, one, two. And in this case, two, zero, one, two is C. We can also loop through arrays using a for, for each or any other loop method like this. This is array, for loop, Enter will return element at index 0 is A. Element at index 1 is B. Element at index 2 is C. And at 3 is D. If you want to access elements from array, you don't need to use index always. You can use destructuring syntax. See, this is how we access elements by index. These are two elements, 0 and 1 index numbers will give us WSPN20. Array destructuring makes it easy. We extracted these elements from this array by assigning them to these two variables. This is destructuring. Destructuring allows you to extract multiple properties from an array and assign them to variables in one go. It is assigning and accessing made easy for arrays. You're gonna use destructuring in React.js a lot. In destructuring, if you want to skip a value, you can do so. 1, 2, 3 are the elements in an array to access 1 and 3 and to skip 2. We just used two variables a and c and left a blank space for this element. And we can access a and c we could have used B here and now A, B, C are returning elements here but if we just skip the B then we have skipped this element and accessed first element and the last element from this array. So this is destructuring. Arrays have got properties and methods Length is a property of array. It gives us number of elements in array. Right now these are four. And now let's discuss some of popular and useful array methods in JavaScript. Array method is like this. Name variable that holds the array. Dot array method name. 
and then arguments in parentheses. By using array method, you can add elements to an array at the end by using push method. Elements dot push five. This was the array. At the end, five was pushed. This is the result by using array push method. To add element at the start of array, use unshift method. Unshift one. And this one was added at the beginning of array. Remove last element from array using pop method. Last was four. And here four was removed from array. Remove first element from array using shift method. One was removed here. You can copy or clone array by using slice method and spread operator. This is slice method. We declared a new variable and applied slice at this variable. And now this is the copy of this array. And spread operator is like this. These three periods, these dots. Spread operator is not array method. We can merge arrays as well. Use spread operator or concat array method to merge arrays. For example, this array had got A, B, C, D elements. We used concat array method and merged Z with this array and the result is this. Concat does not change the existing arrays but instead returns a new array. And if we use spread operator to merge objects, this is the new variable. This is our array and this is second array. We used spread operators to merge them here. One, two, three, four, A, B, C, D. These are strings and these are numbers. This is new array that has got elements from this array and this array. And spread operator is not an array method, by the way. Use array join method to join elements of array separated by commas or a specified separator string. We used this array and we joined its elements by this separator. Separator can be space, can be comma, can be anything. Use slice method to return a shallow copy of a portion of an array into a new array object selected from start to end, where start and end represent the index of the items in that array. This was our array. We used index 1 and 3. We retrieved elements starting from index 1 to ending at index 3. So we have got B and C. If I use only one, only zero index was skipped. And here elements at index zero and one were skipped from two to onwards have been accessed here. So there is also this splice method. You have got this variable containing this array. A, C, D, F. You see, we need to add B here before C and we want to replace f with e. Splice syntax is like this. Starting point, delete count, and then item. If we use WSP, splice, one, zero, and b. The starting point is one. So it is after the element that is at index zero. So here b was added, inserted. Zero means nothing will be deleted and the element will be inserted. Now we want to delete F or replace F with E. So we can do it like four, zero, one, two, three, four. 
f was at index 4 and we used 1 to delete the element at that index and inserted e so now it is a b c d e and this is splice another method is index of get the first index at which a given element can be found in the array by using index of so a b c d index of c c it is 2 0 1 2 and let's say index of g well g is not present in this array so it is negative 1 negative 1 is returned if element is not present in array we've got an includes method includes c true because c is there includes z and it is false because z is not there to find presence of an element use includes method find array method elements dot find n n should be greater than 2 so greater than 2 is 3 and 4 but we have got 3 by using find method you can find first element in array that meets the requirement this was our requirement n should be greater than 2 and here 3 is greater than 2 and it is first element that this method could find so we've got 3 here similarly find n n should be less than 4 and now less than 4 is 3 and 2 and 1 but it will find first element that meets the requirement from left to right so it is 1 we can also find index of an element find index elements find index n n equals equals 2 and we've got 2 here and its index is 1 0 1 so we've got 1 to find index of first element that meets the requirement use find index method we've got map method this is our array we applied map method over it n n multiplied by 2 and here is the new array 2 4 6 8 we applied map method at this array to multiply each element in this array by 2 and the result is this new array 2 4 6 8 and if we print elements again it will be like the same as it was before 1 2 3 4 so map gave us new array it did not change original array use map method to call a function on every element in array and get a new result for each element result will be a new array in this example we multiplied each element in array by 2 and we have got filter method elements filter n not equals to 2 and n not equals to 4 n should not be equal to 2 should not be equal to 4 not 2 not 4 so we've got 1 and 3 and here is our, our result 1 and 3 use filter method to get a new array with all elements that pass the test implemented by the provided function here we created an array of elements excluding 2 and 4 from given array this is the result and it did not change original array this is our new array because if we print elements after that we've got the original array that was unchanged and we have got reduce method reduce at elements accumulation and current accumulation plus current and the result is 10 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 10 so reduce method gave a single value according to our requirement
to execute a callback function for each element in array to get a single value out of array use reduce method here we wanted to get sum of all elements in this array a double c you can say a double c is previous value or accumulation value and cur is current value this method will walk through all elements calculate sum remembers previous sum and add next value in it until it adds all elements in array and give a single value result this is every array method every elements every x x should be smaller than 5 true every smaller than 5 every element is smaller than 5 so it is true if i do it like x is smaller than 4 it is false 3 2 1 are smaller than 4 but for every all elements should meet the requirement or should pass the test that is provided to check a requirement for all elements in an array use every method it returns true or false true in case if all elements meet the specific requirement and we have got some array method to check if at least one element in array meets the requirement then we can use sum elements dot sum x x should be greater than three one element is greater than three so it is true we can change order of elements in array and reverse it by using reverse array method so elements one two three four and we reverse the order now these are four three two one and after that if you print elements four three two one so it changed original array so reverse order of elements in array by using reverse method and it affects original array at method elements at minus two minus one minus two now we've got three minus one returns last element in array and zero will return first first element in array we can also sort elements in array let's say these are elements six nine two five and now these have been sorted by using sort method we've got flat method this is our array array inside array and we can flat it 0 1 2 3 4 and now these are flattened these have been flattened and in case of this simple flat won't work flat 0 won't work we want to completely flat this array flat 0 let me comment it comment it and comment it so flat 2 so this 0 1 2 is depth if we use 3 here then these are all flattened we can specify depth depth of recursion so flatten a nested array by using flat method flat method creates a new array with all subarray elements concatenated into it recursively up to the specified depth so these were most useful array methods in javascript there is a concept of mutable and immutable array methods arrays in javascript are just objects and they can be mutated many array methods mutate or change array array methods that change array are mutable methods such as pop push shift 
and array methods that do not change actual array but return new array or immutable array methods such as map and filter methods map and filter are immutable array methods if you go to mdn web docs we have got around 40 array methods listed here these are kind of little utilities that help you manipulate arrays and get desired results very useful and helpful do check these out and practice map method filter method reduce method because these are methods you're gonna use most in react js and in javascript projects these also make good javascript interview questions for example difference between map filter and reduce and their definitions and their use cases in react.js usually map method is used to populate records and apply something for each element in record map will give us new array it will not change original array and filter method is used usually used or one use case is to delete or exclude element from array and use case for reduce method is to calculate total cost from an array that contains elements with their cost okay so these were javascript arrays and arrays methods i have already published a video on javascript arrays crash course do check that out as well i will link that video in description okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next video